The Academy Awards are this Sunday, and of course there are a lot of great movies nominated. However, I would not let my nine-year-old son Shepard watch any of them. They're not really appropriate for him, and plus he's the worst with spoilers. So instead, uh, we let him see posters, short clips, and trailers of those films and express his thoughts to Kevin and Ellie. Let's see who he thinks is gonna get Best Picture. Hello, Shep. Cool. We're gonna show you some clips of the Oscar-nominated movies, and we would love for you to tell us what you think these movies are about. All right, are we ready for our first one? Okay, we'll just jump in. Let's talk about the shape of water. What do you think that's all about? People want fish people, but people won't give people fish people. Yeah, that's honestly actually not far off. Speaking of that, what is your stance on fish-woman marriage? Like. Marriage, except love is love is love. I agree. What do you think is like the plot of the Darkest Hour? The world is at war, and nobody knows what to do. Do you think you would remain steadfast in the face of enemy attack? Well, I wouldn't do what the old guy did, but well, I might. I'd say, "Hey, listen to me, people." Okay. People don't know what to do, but I'm a person, and I know what to do, people. What do you think it's missing? Come on, you need a little bit of romance. Not a lot of romance in The Darkest Hour. Dunkirk. The most important part of Dunkirk to me is that uh, Harry Styles made his debut. It's like a singer, shouldn't he be in something not so sad? If he were to sing, what do you think the song would be like? Oh, uh, I'm dying. I don't have an arm. So you wouldn't be scared by Dunkirk? No, it's incredible. Oh, you like it? Mm, no, not at all. No. Okay. okay. Getting mixed messages here. Phantom Thread. How'd you feel about that? It's guy sewing dresses, but just weird guy. And then? Somebody figures out what he's sewing in his dresses. But that body ain't me. Who is it? An actor? I don't know. So give us your best Daniel Day-Lewis impersonation. I'll give you a solid five dollars. Twenty. I don't have twenty dollars cash. Then where would we be? Okay, Shepard, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Where do you think this movie takes place? Uganda. What do you think it's about? This girl got killed and that other grandma's or daughter or something. Princess McDormand is actually only like 50 mm. years old. She's like a mother's age, but it's fine. Shep, if you had three billboards, what would you put on them? I need wood. I need wood. What's your second billboard? People need wood. Third billboard? We all need wood. That's compelling. <laughs> what do you think about uh, Jordan Peele's directorial debut? Who the heck is Jordan Peele's? Biting criticism. <laughs> yes. What do you think these evil people try to do to the main character? Mm, they try to torture him because they do not like him. How do they torture him? I don't know, something that makes him want to get out. Strong conclusion. The Post. Do you think the government lies? A lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shep, have you ever read a paper? No, I, like, only see it when my grandpa's looking at them. What do you think The Post is about? People find out some stuff about the government that they weren't supposed to find out according to the government. Call me by your name, rated R. Just your best wild guess. Well, Oliver's the dog, and he loves olives. And Elio? He's this hamster that hates the rain. How does it end? Oliver eats Elio, and Elio eats Oliver's insides, and then it's just Elio stuck inside this dead dog. It's a love story, though? No, not at all. Okay, Shep, have you told your mother you loved her recently? Not recently. You should tell her you love her today. Yeah, I guess I will. Why do you think it's called Ladybird? I don't know, one of them likes ladybugs and has wings. A collection of wings. No, chicken wings. Oh, we would love for you to tell us which one you think is gonna win Best Picture of the Year. Um, the three billboard one. Solid pick. Would you recommend this movie to your friends? No. Would you recommend any of these movies to your friends? Nobody likes movies no more. Devastating. <laughs>
Do you want to just go play some video games right now instead? I'd rather have some Doritos. Let's go eat Doritos. Let's go eat Doritos. Yep, that's my son, and I'm proud. <laughs> I think he might have a future in film criticism. Of course he does. Keep watching because we're gonna take on the weird Chinese ice eating trend. The what? Feeling nostalgic for Link before the gray hair? And glasses. Download our Looking for Miss Locklear documentary available at mythical.store.